This is Witchspace News for Friday the 15th of November 2019. I'm Commander Burke. In this weeks news, David Braben reveals a tantalising nugget of information at the Frontier AGM, a new Guardian site has been discovered, the lave system needs your help, Speed Bowl 3 results are in and the Christmas Carriers Convoy 4 is getting ready to depart. If you find this video useful hit like and subscribe and remember to click the little bell icon. You can also join the Burr Pit community on our Discord server and if you want to help support the work of this channel you'll also find us on Patreon. Links to everything you need are in the description below. First of all my thanks this week to Commander G Meister on our Discord server for pointing me to this story. Frontier held their annual general meeting in October which is a requirement for a company whose shares are traded publicly on the stock exchange. Twitter user at InvestedGeordie is a shareholder in Frontier and was in attendance and managed to grab a quick chat with Frontier's CEO David Braben. There were a number of interesting comments in Geordie's recount of the conversation but the paragraph that particularly made me sit up and pay attention on the subject of Elite was this. Quote, David assured me that the code base will be renewed via a paid expansion. This is great news as the QA team aren't picking up bugs it seems. This may be a CI slash CD pipeline issue but I feel after speaking to the board modern engineering practices are very well embedded and this is rather that the product codebase needs to be rationalised and the paid update will fix current and future ills." Unquote. I'm not a developer but if that meant what I thought it meant then it had me rather excited so I ran it past primetime casual. As well as being difficult he is a developer and he broke it down into slightly more digestible language for me. In essence the implication here and this is something that primetime has been saying to me for the past year is that the code that Elite is built on at this point is now quite old. It's had features tacked onto it that haven't been designed from the start to work well with each other or have little or no joint commonality in their implementation. For example SRVs, ship launched fighters, wings and multi crew all work in various ways that are at odds with each other. You can't multi crew in a wing for example and SRVs are incompatible with multi crew but they do work in a wing. Things like that. Where a codebase has been growing organically like Elite has there comes a point where it becomes too unwieldy or top heavy to easily add to or further for that matter bug fix and it seems from the position of an outside observer at least that Elite may have reached that point and assuming that is the case the only sensible thing to do is renew the codebase. Essentially start over with a fresh build of the engine that uses all the latest, best and freshest code that the company has developed since Elite was written. Code that is now in use in Frontier's other titles Planet Coaster, Jurassic World and Planet Zoo. This is an expensive and lengthy process but ultimately a necessary one. We're guessing here but we think this means that the 2020 paid update will help to finance a ground up refresh of the existing codebase as well as adding lots of new features for those that buy the expansion. It's extremely likely that in such an event the refreshed codebase will be in use by those that don't choose to buy the expansion as well. There's no way that Frontier would wish to maintain two different codebases of the same game. It would certainly help explain why features like carriers have been problematic for Frontier to implement and why promised features like ice planet refreshes have fallen off the roadmap, for now at least. It's likely their implementation would be much more feasible using a new codebase. It's worth noting as well that the implementation of a codebase like those in use in Planet Zoo or Jurassic World would certainly make atmospheric worlds much more achievable in the future. Commander Vanilla Ice Toxophilite of the Fatherhood player group reported his discovery this week of a new previously unknown Guardian Ruins site while doing research missions for the famed Xeno scientist Ram Tar. If you want to visit what is possibly, currently at least, the last three of the Guardian sites then visit the Col 173 sector shown on screen now and head to body C3. 
Congratulations on a great find Commander. There are many like it but this one is yours. What is possibly the most famous of the original star systems for Elite, Lave, is currently suffering a famine as a result of infection from the Scourge crop blight. The Lave system is the only place in the galaxy where you can obtain the rare good Lavian brandy which is needed to unlock the engineer Diddy Vaterman and whilst the system is under blight that commodity is unavailable for purchase. In an initiative being called Save Lave a general call has been put out for all available pilots to deliver as much food as possible to the lave system to end the famine. Last weekend saw the elite media sphere almost entirely dominated by the Speed Bowl 3 event. Primetime Casual and Halo Jones once again convinced hordes of commanders to hurl themselves at a high G world in normal space and attempt to reach speeds in excess of 4000 meters per second above an unfortunate starport. This time it was the turn of the 61 Virginis systems Margulis Depot to call in the double glazing repair teams. Our congratulations go to commanders Phobia, Verminus and Geryua who took podium slots 1-3 to three respectively. For a full rundown of all the placings of what was the largest speed bowl event yet then head to the forum link below. In typical generous elite community fashion a number of the prizes given at the top end were donated to those further down the podium. Just brilliant. An amazing event for all involved. Really a sight to behold as well as long as you don't blink at the wrong moment. Massive congratulations to Halo and Primetime for once again stepping up, managing and hosting a fantastic weekend long community engaging event. Roll on Speed Bowl 4. And finally the 4th annual Christmas Carriers Convoy will be leaving the bubble on the 1st of December with the intention of delivering a mix of food, commodities and rare goods to the Colonia region in time for Christmas Day. To get involved see links to their Discord and the Expedition page on the Always Marvelous EDSM website. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then ….o7 CMDRs follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time.